Hello guys, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. So we have done with the email verification, okay, user email verification. And in the last video, I told you that sometimes or in fact every time it takes hours to receive the verification email. So this is the verification email that I received from the Firebase and I hope Firebase team will fix it soon the delay in receiving the verification email so we have got the verification email now many of you uh, may be getting this problem that even after verifying the email from the link you are saying that not verified email not verified in your profile so let me tell you that after verifying the email by clicking on the link you need to sign in in the application again to update the email verification status okay so here if i will sign in to my application you see the email is verified okay so in this video we will see how we create a logout option for our application okay so to do this let's come back to our project and the first thing we will create a logout menu okay so inside your resource folder right click go to new and select directory and name it menu okay so we will create a menu directory and inside this again go to new and create a menu resource file okay now give your resource file a name i'm giving it menu you can give any name okay and here we will create our options menu now we have only one option for now and it is item and for the title you can set the title you can set icon and you can give it an id okay so for the title i will write the logout and give it an id as well menu logout okay so we have our menu now we need to add this menu to our profile activity so come to profile activity actually come to the resource file of profile activity and here we will create a toolbar okay so let's create a toolbar which is android support v7 widget toolbar and it is match parent match parent Grab content, give it a background color, give it an ID as well. Okay, so we have this toolbar. Remove this padding from the linear layout, or it will add some margins to toolbar and it will not look good. So we have our toolbar. You see, this is our toolbar. Now we need to set this toolbar as our support action bar so come to profile activity and inside on create we will create a toolbar object so we will write toolbar toolbar equals to find me by id r dot id dot the id of the toolbar which is toolbar and then we will write set support action bar and we will pass toolbar and if you are getting error then this means you have imported android dot widget dot toolbar but you have to import what android dot support dot v7 dot widget dot toolbar okay so remember this if you will import this toolbar you will get an error so we have the toolbar now to set the option menu to the toolbar we need to override a method and the method is called on create option menu okay so go to generate right click go to generate select override methods and here we will select on create options menu okay now here write return true and here we need a menu inflator object so here we will write menu inflator inflator equals to get menu inflator okay and then we will inflate our menu so we will write menu inflator dot inflate and the first parameter is the menu resource id which is r dot menu dot menu the name of our menu file which is menu dot xml so we have r dot menu dot menu 
and the second parameter is the menu object this menu object so we'll write menu that's it now to handle the clicks on the menu items we again need to override one more method so go to override methods and here we will write on uh, option uh, on options item selected this method okay so override this method and again here write return true and right now we have only one option so we do not need to do anything inside this method we can simply call the logout function but if you have multiple options in your in your menu then what you can do is you can write a switch or an f here so you can write switch and you can switch the menu item id okay so this is the menu item object and you can get the id from this item object so right now we have only one menu so we can write in that case r dot id dot menu logout but if you have multiple menus you can write multiple cases here and inside this case we can simply write firebase auth dot get instance dot sign up that's it then we will finish this activity and then we will write start activity new intent this and the login activity which is main activity dot class okay so that's it so let me show you it is working so let's play it okay so you see we have the toolbar now and here in the top right corner we have a button three dots now when we will click here we will get the logout button and if we click on the logout button we logged out from the application okay so we logged out now we can log in again oops wrong email so guys this is working so that's it for this video guys if you are having any confusions or questions please leave it in the comment section and if you found this video helpful please hit on the like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and please share this video with your friends and i will see you in the next video bye bye